Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels. Today we're gonna talk all about the things you'd ever wanna know about Baltimore, Maryland. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and watch our other content for even more mind-blowing information about your favorite places. In the meantime, let's go. Baltimore is a city in North Central Maryland that's got a whopping 585,000 people. That's over half a million. It's the largest city in the state and was established in 1729. But boy oh boy, so many things have changed since then. These days, the Inner Harbor is the place to be and the people in the city know it. We'll talk more about the harbor in just a little bit. Baltimore's positioned so that travels to Washington DC, Philadelphia, and even New York City are very accessible. Even international travel is easy with BWI being right in its backyard. We know it as Baltimore, but locals have their own way of describing it. Nicknames of Baltimore include Charm City, The City That Reads, depending on your experience, Harm City, and The City That Bleeds. What makes Baltimore so special, you ask? Well, here's a few things that they take credit for. Fort McHenry was the fort defending Baltimore Harbor during the War of 1812, and that is when the American National Anthem was written by Francis Scott Key. Babe Ruth, the baseball legend, was born there. Baltimore's home to the first dental school, which opened in 1840. Baltimore has more statues and monuments per capita than any other city in the U.S. Snow cones were invented in Baltimore during the Industrial Revolution. The USS Constellation, a Civil War vessel, is the last of its kind to float, is also located right here in Baltimore. The Great Baltimore Fire of 1904 burned for 30 hours and destroyed 1,500 buildings, leveling neighborhoods due to the firefighting equipment mishaps. Because of this, equipment for firefighters was standardized across the United States, and then they rebuilt. When it comes to actually living in Baltimore, the housing prices are literally all over the place. In one part of town, you can buy a shell of a row house for five grand. And in other sections, like the Columbia Townsend Metro, you can expect to pay upwards of $500,000. Home values have spiked to nearly 10% over the past year and are steadily looking to level off for the time being. Overall, the trending home price for Baltimore is about $215,000. Rents in the city go for about $1,100 for a one-bedroom and $1,400 for a two-bedroom, respectively. Again, it all depends on what part of the city you live in and if you prefer a gated community or if you can sleep through things like the sound of the highway, emergency vehicles, and gunshots. For entertainment and recreation, you'll have what seems like unending choices of things to do. Whether you're into sports, art history, or clubbing, Baltimore is certifiably lit. The Inner Harbor has great restaurants, clubs, and bars to be social. You can also see a game at Camden Yards, check out some fish at the National Aquarium, or visit one of the many museums in town. There's also a casino, a distillery, and water taxis, so you can take in the city from the water. Plenty of bands, theatrical productions, and performances roll through town as well throughout the year. Just be careful when you're getting around town. The crime there is no joke and has some of the worst stats in the country, highly comparable to other high crime areas like Detroit and St. Louis. The violent crime rate in Baltimore is 379% higher than the national average. Property crime stats are also 120% higher than the national average. This tells us that criminals in Baltimore don't really want to rob you, they just want to hurt you. You have a 1 in 17 chance of becoming the victim of a violent crime and the incidents are not declining at all. When planning outings, make sure you try to know exactly where you're going and go in large groups to avoid being being singled out. Hopefully, when you show up in Baltimore, you have a nice job readily lined up for you. 7% of the population is unemployed and the poverty level is at 23.1%, much higher than the national average. The median income for a family working in Baltimore is about $44,000 per year. 
There are many big employers that are in Baltimore aside from your everyday companies. The Social Security Administration, Under Armour, Fitch Co., John Hopkins University, One Main Financial, and Jensen Hughes all provide employment opportunities for those who are looking. The main industries in Baltimore are financial, healthcare, tourism, logistics, and manufacturing. Depending on your skill set, you might not have any trouble at all with finding a decent job. The school system in Baltimore can accurately be described as disgustingly abysmal. Test score numbers are 53% lower than the national average. That's so bad. That's with a relatively average student ratio of 15 to 1. There are 315 total public schools and 173 private schools in Baltimore itself. Only 80% of the residents have completed the eighth grade and 29.7% have obtained a bachelor's degree. If you have children and are contemplating enrolling them in Baltimore schools, you might wanna rethink your options and homeschool if you can. With all that being said, what conclusion can we come up with about Baltimore, Maryland? It appears as if there's a lot to do and is perhaps a nice destination to take a day trip with a big group of friends. Will you get shot and leave this world when you visit? Maybe, maybe not. It's a chance you're taking when you enter the city, but as long as you keep to yourself, chances are you'll be okay. All right, everyone, now you know what's up in Baltimore, Maryland. Is it everything you thought it was going to be? Make sure to comment below if you live there or have ever visited and got out to talk about it. Where am I going next? Make sure to hit that subscribe button to find out. Until next time, bye, y'all.